How are you, dear students? Our lesson today about Kanduz with 3D shapes. Pages number 791 and 792. Let's start with this video. The essential understanding for this lesson is three dimensional shapes can be combined to form other three dimensional shapes or the shapes of common, everyday objects. Previously, students used attributes such as the number of vertices, edges, and faces to define three-dimensional shapes. In this lesson, students combine three-dimensional shapes to form real-world objects and larger shapes. This problem is key because students combine three-dimensional shapes, cubes, to form another three-dimensional shape, a rectangular prism. Listen and look for students who build a rectangular shape with one layer of cubes. Because it has only one layer of cubes, some of these students may think of it as a two-dimensional shape. They draw the top view of the shape and include the number of sides and vertices in their drawing when they write about their shape. Call the attention of these students to the shape named in the problem, a rectangular prism. Have them examine a rectangular prism. Remind them that this shape is a three-dimensional shape and have them identify the number of faces, edges, and vertices it has. Then, help these students understand that the shape they built is not flat. Explain that their drawing is the top face of a rectangular prism and the sides in their drawing are four edges of the prism. Have students check that the shape they built has the attributes of a rectangular prism. Listen and look for other students who draw another way to use cubes to build a rectangular prism. Then, they describe the shape they made, including the number of cubes they used and the attributes of the shape. These students are developing an understanding of how to combine three-dimensional shapes to form another three-dimensional shape. This prepares them for combining three-dimensional shapes to form common, everyday objects later in the lesson. So, now with our first question here. Circle the three-dimensional shapes that could be put together to make the object. The first one here. Which 3D shapes you see? And the first one, excellent, sphere, a rectangular prism, and cylinder, excellent. So, and the first one here you will circle, rectangular prism, and cylinder, and sphere. The second shape here, this one, which 3D shapes you see? Rectangular prism and cylinder and cone. The third one, you can see slender, excellent, and another slender. With another question here. Jan wants to combine six green cubes to make a bigger cube. Is that enough? Six green cubes. Is that enough to make a bigger cube? No, it's not enough. You need at least eight cubes to make a bigger cube. So we will write here, no. John can't make a bigger cube with six cubes. He need at least eight cubes. With another video here. Three D shapes to make bigger three D shapes. What are these shapes? These are cubes. What bigger three D shapes can you make by putting these cubes together?
You can build a rectangular prism from cubes. What other 3D shape can you build from cubes? What shape was made here? Select your answer. You can make a big cube from smaller cubes. Can an even bigger cube be made with more small cubes? Explain. Yes, you can make a bigger cube by adding more small cubes. You can also use 3D shapes to make objects that you know. What are the names of these 3D shapes that will be used to make an object? There is a cube, a cone, and a cylinder. What can you make with these? How were the shapes combined to make this object? They were stacked on top of each other. What shape did they make when they were combined? A cube, a cylinder, and a cone make a rocket. Now you know how to put 3D shapes together to make other 3D shapes. With another question, Ralph made this shape blue with 3D shapes. The question here is, what 3D shapes did Ralph use? Look at the picture. Which three dimension shapes did Ralph use here? Excellent. You can see in the middle we have slender and he used two cones. So our answer here will be two cones and a slender. Another question. Kristen has 12 ice cubes. She wants to combine the ice cubes to make an ice sculpture. What three dimension shape could Kristen make with the ice cubes? When you have 12 ice cubes and when you put them together, you will get rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. Okay, with another question. Ellen uses two of the same shape to build a bigger 3D shape. Her new figure has two flat surfaces and zero vertices. What two shapes did Ellen use? That's the first question. And the second one, what bigger shape did Ellen build? So here's the first question. What two shapes did Ellen use? We want a shape huh. with huh. the question here. She uses two of the same shape to build a bigger, a bigger 3D shape. Her new figure has two flat surfaces and zero vertices. Zero vertices. So it's what? Excellent. Cylinder. So we have here two cylinders. So Ellen used two cylinders to make another one bigger than this two. So what bigger shape did Ellen build? It's cylinder. Another question. Which object could be made with a cone and a cylinder? Look at the shapes here. Excellent. You will choose letter A. Color pen. This red. Then it has a ah, slender and cool. Excellent, dear students. Don't forget our homework, pages number 793 and 794.
see you tomorrow.